16-year-old Kim Black has had type 1 diabetes for 10 years. I have to think about it like 24-7, all, all the time, like when I'm going to eat next, where I'm going, and if I have to bring a test kit, and how much, I, how much insulin I have to give myself, and everything. Kim has an insulin pump implanted in her side to give her the life-saving medication she needs about five times a day. But according to a new study in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, newly diagnosed type 1 diabetes patients may be freed from needing insulin through a stem cell transplant. These are not embryonic stem cells. These are your own circulating blood stem cells from the patient themselves. Dr. Richard Burt of Northwestern University designed the study, which took place in Brazil. The goal was to replace patients' faulty immune systems, which destroy islet cells in the pancreas, causing diabetes. Dr. Burt calls the immune system the police force because it's supposed to protect us from illness. We go in and remove that entire police force and put in a new group of officers right out of the academy. And they do what they're supposed to do. That is, they don't attack normal good citizens. In 15 patients, doctors removed the patient's own stem cells from their blood and froze them. The patients underwent chemotherapy for four days to weaken their immune systems. That way their bodies were more receptive to the stem cells when doctors put them back in the patients. The procedure was safe in all the patients and effective in all but one. This is the first time in the history of diabetes that patients have gone an interval, an interval now up to three years, um, and perhaps longer, only time will tell, requiring no treatment, no insulin, no immune suppression, no medications at all. This all sounds good to Kim. I don't know what it's like to live without type 1 diabetes. But she wishes she could find out. This is Mavis Prawl with the JAMA Report.